Excuse me. <clears throat> Giant's blood. If you were watching the Path of Exile 2 reveal stream and you're a melee enthusiast and you did not lose your mind and or do something a little more uh, despicable if you catch my drift, when you saw the Giant's Blood keystone pop up on the screen. Giant's Blood, which allows you to wield two hand weapons in a single hand. Dude. <laughs> I am 1,000% taking that. Then I don't know what to tell you, man, because it's going to be absolutely busted. But Wooly, Path of Exile 2 is not out yet. How do you know what's going to be busted or not? Okay, you don't even have to take my word for it, because yes, I haven't actually played Path of Exile 2 yet. I guess I'm not a real content creator or something. But don't worry, you don't have to take my word for it. Here's Al Kaiser. Hey guys, in this video, I'm just going to go over what I'm playing on PoE 2 launch. All right, kind of already know exactly what I'm doing. Warrior. Big two-hander into a Titan, who would have guessed? So long story short, you're gonna wield two two-handed weapons and do some big bonks. Unlike in Path of Exile 1, where when you do wield, all you get is like a little bit of an attack speed multiplier. I think it's like 10%, 15%. In Path of Exile 2, who knows if there's gonna be some just base, you know, bonus for dual wielding, but the skills themselves seem to be built around dual wielding a whole lot more. Take, for example, Sunder. Sunder says when you attack with two weapons, each weapon deals 30% less damage, but they hit simultaneously. And this checks out to 40% more overall damage. Then you also have a skill like Armor Breaker, which says you have 40% more attack speed while dual wielding. That is absolutely crazy. Now, given again that I actually haven't had my hands on the game, I've had to learn and synthesize all this information with what other people are gonna do and what their gameplay previews look like and all of that. And it is safe to say that yes, absolutely taking the Giant's Blood Keystone and basically going any slam skill with the Titan Ascendancy, which is one of the Warrior Ascendancies, is going to be absurdly powerful. And if you are a true melee enthusiast, it's probably what you're gonna wanna do in Path of Exile 2. Now, it still kinda remains to be seen just how powerful breaking armor is. Is it like gonna double the damage that you deal to the target, essentially? If it's a huge damage bonus keeping an enemy at broken armor, then you probably don't wanna use something like Sunder, which consumes the fully broken armor. You'd rather just keep hitting with a regular slam skill like Earthquake or something while their armor is fully broken to get more overall damage. So in terms of specific skills that I'll be using, I don't really know yet, but I do know that Sunder Armor Breaker, Earthquake, and Hammer of the Gods. Oh man, this skill right here, absolutely disgusting. Look at that damage percentage. You see that? You see that damage percentage right there? And for the Titan Ascendancy itself, a lot of it revolves around slams with the Aftershock mechanic here and then the Ancestral Boost here. But you also get things like 20% more maximum life and the best part to me and I'm sure a lot of others, 20 extra inventory slots. So the Titan Ascendancy pretty much just looks like a combination of all of the current Marauder Ascendancies, Juggernaut, Chieftain, a little bit of Berserker as well with extra inventory space on top of it like that's a no-brainer choice that's what i'm going boys 100 i'm gonna be a titan i'm gonna be using giant's blood i'll figure out the skills when i get there you can check out my stream twitch.tv slash woolly gaming i'm gonna be streaming a metric booty butt ton of path of exile 2 i'll catch you there peace